What's good, YouTube? In this video, I wanted to kind of address a question that I got on a previous video. And the question was basically, you know, at this point in the season, a lot of people have stopped playing Madden Ultimate Team. So could you give us some recommendations as to what you would do in regs? And so I wanted to kind of do a, a little mini series here on the channel. The next several videos are going to be focused on regs, game mode, and kind of do essentially a free ebook on how to win more games in regs, how to win money games. Um, this, this scheme that I'm going to show you is really good. It's won myself money. It's won several people money in this game. And if you want to get better at money games, this is a great offense and a great defense that we're going to be talking about. So we're going to first start on offense and then we're going to transition to defense in a future video. Um, but we're going to be in the New England Patriots playbook. Now, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. I've got a full ebook on this stuff completely advanced with a lot of the concepts we're going to be talking about, but also with additional adjustments and additional concepts that you might not know. So if you want to get that, all that, that stuff, you can get all of my ebooks in my Patreon membership. The cool part about the membership is it comes with updates as well. It's only $10 a month. You get, uh, you'll get you unlock over 20 offensive and defensive eBooks. In addition to that, you're also going to unlock um, all of the updates that we've released and any new eBooks or new updates that we release while your membership is active. So for episode one of this little free eBook series, I'm gonna be introducing you to, again, my favorite team to play with in regs for money, and that would be the Green Bay Packers. Now, why are the Green Bay Packers so good? The Green Bay Packers are so good because of Aaron Rodgers and because of Devontae Adams. Their secondary has really good uh, corners as well. That helps a lot on the defensive side of the ball, but on offense, it's really all about Aaron Rodgers and Devontae Adams. Now, what you wanna do from a uh, personnel perspective is you just wanna put your uh, Marquez Valdez Scantling, you wanna put him here in the slot, and then you want to put Lazard in the outside slot audibles for this uh this scheme we're going to be doing the uh curl flat is going to be our audible first audible in this the 45 quick base is our second audible the third audible is going to be verticals and the fourth audible is going to be pa slot corner now if you wanted to you could exchange curl flat for doubles and sale you could exchange curl flat for really any of these plays if you don't have an outside apprentice you could certainly put the Pats YN in here. As you can see, this allows you to have that post, one of the best concepts in this game. But really, we're going to be basing the majority of our offense out of the play PA counter go, which we're going to go over first. And we're going to go over our first setup um, for this offense. This is going to force your opponent into a specific way they're going to have to play defense. They're going to have to over adjust. They're going to have to really hone their adjustments to stop this concept. And that is the PA counter go. Now the setup for this is really actually very simple. You do not need any hot route master, any abilities whatsoever to run this setup. And you can also run the setup on either hash mark. Now I'm gonna argue today that I think it works better on the left hash, but it is fine. You could do it on any hash. We're gonna show you how this route combo is designed and we're gonna show you how it can beat all of the main coverages you're gonna face. And we're also gonna show how this will beat the meta Mabel coverage that, um, that most people will be using online out of the Mike Blitz 3. So what we're going to do is we are going to shriek our tight end. We're going to flat our outside slot and we're going to put our outside receiver Devonte Adams on a smart routed in route. Now, if you know you're running this play, you actually could put Devonte Adams in the slot and I'll come back to that when we get into the Mabel concept, but your first read is always your streak. Then you're going to be looking to your crosser. So you can see that crosser gets wide open on the sideline. That crosser is going to beat every basic zone coverage in the game. So that was cover four. I'm going to show you cover three. And it doesn't matter if it's cloud flats. It, they're basically going to have to zone drop uh, to be able to shut this down. So again, there you see it's wide open against cover three. And then now I'm going to show you the cover two defense. So if I just go to uh, cover two. And they're going to basically have to user the crosser with their middle of the field player. Now, with the cover two, it's a little dicey if you get shedded. But as you can see, it does get over. We'll just pass lead it up once he gets that separation. So as you see, it beats cover four, cover three, cover two. It's also going to beat match. So if I'm going to go to the cover four match coverage, and what you're going to see is that this crosser um, is going to kind of dumb out the match, and you can throw this on the sideline just like that. So with Rodgers having pass lead elite, it really does help this offense a lot, and it's going to make it so that you can make throws into tight spaces. Now, another thing that I wanted to quickly point out is let's say that, for example, they want to take this defender right here, Amos, and they want to use her the crosser. Typically, most people use her the middle linebacker. 
So what you're going to see in that scenario is once that in route kind of clears that yellow, you can hit that as a check down against cover four. You can also hit that as a check down against cover three. I will say if they're dropping several people back into coverage, um, you know, it can be a little bit harder to hit this in route, but it typically comes in right in these little pockets right here. You can hit it kind of right in that little area. And as you can see, this is able to beat cover three, cover four. And then of course, we're gonna show you um, how you can use this to beat cover two. But basically, if they use her, this crosser, the whole middle of the field should be wide open over the middle. And that's where that in route comes in handy. And so you can hit it right in that little area. There, I threw it just a little bit too late, but you see the idea. Now this doesn't only beat zone coverage, it also will beat man to man. So I'm gonna to go to cover one robber here um, and show you how this play works against man to man. Now we'll say man to man probably honestly defends this the best, especially if you're playing a good player. Uh, I think man to man does defend this the best, but the crosser is kind of there for you. What you wanna do is you wanna secure catch that, at least in my opinion, I think it helps significantly. And then let's say that they go with two purple zones. Um, that's gonna open that middle of the field up. So again, this play right here, and you see right there, Devontae Adams kind of dumbed out, but he would have been wide open. He typically is going to be wide open. With the in route against man, what you want to do uh, so that you can have a better completion percentage with that in route whenever it's, it's going against man to man is you want to actually low ball it and pass lead it inside. So like low ball, pass it inside. You see there you get that dive catch, which really secures secures everything. So that's, that's kind of all the basic coverages. Now I want to go over um, what's going to happen in particularly if they start to do a double Mabel setup. And for this example, I'm actually going to move Devonte Adams inside um, to kind of show and walk you through some of the things that I'm going to have a little bit of a bonus tip here for you on the crossing routes. So part of the reason why the Packers are so good, is not just because Devonte Adams gets outside of Prentice, but it's also because he actually has um, a really good deep route running rating. And what you'll see here is if you look at this crosser from Alan Lazard, it's gonna run right to about the 40 yard line, okay? If I go back to the PA counter go, you see it gets over the top of that 40 yard line. So whenever I move the hash and come back over here to the short side um, of the field, what should happen um, as a result is it should give Devontae Adams a lot more room to be able to get open on this crosser because he has a good route running rating it makes him run these routes a little bit deeper okay so i'll show you what this looks like this is with Devonte adams on the crosser i'm at the 20 and you'll see here if i pass if i just wait for him to get the sideline i can kind of hit this over the top of jair there i threw it poorly but basically once once the corner and this is a 30 yard cloud but uh, a 30 yard cloud flat by the way but once the corner kind of sucks underneath um and if you pay attention here you'll see it once he sucks underneath, that's when you can throw it. So you just wait on it, wait on it, wait on it, wait on it. There he sucks down. So right there, we just pass lead that up. And again, it's going to take some reps. You might just pass lead that to the outside. But the bottom line is it, it, it's, it's a lot better of a chance for you to be able to hit that read um, if you want to run this play, again, in that situation. Now, a little bit better of example with the safety. If the safety is the guy that's in the third, it's a lot easier to get over the top of the safety. So you see here, I'll just pass lead that up. And you see how that beats it. It beats a 30 yard cloud because again, it's this route running rating combined with the fact that it's a really good route in general. Route High route running is really, really critical in this game. Um, it's something that not very many people think about, or talk about, but it actually is very critical when it comes to this route. So you'll see here, this is again that cover two. I'm gonna come back to the flat here in a minute, but again, I'm just gonna pass it that straight up. If you ever get in trouble, you can always aggressive catch that and they never, they pretty much never pick the ball. They're, um, the way this game works, it's very hard to catch interceptions. So that's a great way to kind of hedge your bet um, in a situation like that. Now let's talk about the flat route on the left side. So in order for them to stop the crosser, they have to have a 30 yard cloud flat zone. In this example, that's gonna mean that they have to use a curl flat zone underneath. And what you'll see is this curl flat zone will suck in every single time to that out route or that in route and allows me to hit that flat for about five to 10 yards every single time. What this is going to mean is now your opponents in their underneath coverage, they have to man that guy up, okay? So when they go to man that guy up, now what's going to happen is, again, they're still going to have to run over the middle of the field for the tight end streak and for the crosser. So now there's going to be a nice void right in this little area right there where you can hit that dig route. So that's how this play kind of builds off of itself and it allows you to be able to beat 
pretty much anything that the defense is going to do uh, defensively with just one simple route combination. And then last thing, again, if you roll out, get a little bit of time, a lot of times, again, if you can just practice this, be patient with this crosser, you can get it over a 30-yard cloud. I want to tell you, just, just to be very clear, make sure you're practicing this before you take it into a game. Don't just go into a game and expect to bomb 30-yard clouds. Um, this, in particular, route does beat 30-yard clouds, but only if you pass lead it at the right trajectory at the right time. So, again, I like to kind of get out of the pocket, pass lead that up. If I ever get in trouble, you're going to see I'm going to aggressive catch it and kind of body up that corner and keep it from getting it. I want to thank you for watching this video. Guys, this whole series is um, in response to a question. So, if you have a question about Madden, drop it in the comments and I can do a video explaining or breaking down the answer. So again, we're gonna do a couple of videos here giving you, equipping you with what I would argue is the best scheme in regs. And in, it's, I think it's even the best scheme in MUT, but it's definitely the best scheme in regs and uh, how you can use use this uh, playbook without needing Hot Rod Master, without needing a bunch of things um, to be able to just absolutely you know dominate your opponent. So. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to get my full trip set in ebook, you can get all of my ebooks for just one price of $10 a month by joining our Patreon. And Patreon gets you access to over 20 offensive and defensive ebooks. In addition to that, you're also going to get all the updates to those ebooks. So thanks for watching the video. And if you want to get the membership, head on down to the description and click the link that I put down there for you.